please lift your right hand. Say, Lord, Lord I'm, in your presence. I'm in your presence. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. One thing that is scary in life, Sister Pepe, is to live under the same roof with somebody that you don't know who the person is. Yes, yes, true. Very true. And also, one of the scariest things in life is to come to a place of not knowing what to do to you. Yes. <laughs> Become confused. Yes. Not knowing what to do to you. Then if you're not careful and you don't ask God for divine wisdom, you do things anyhow. Amen. Amen. Give me all ears. When you see somebody sleeping, tap the person nicely. Here's the, here's the house of God. Don't hit anybody. <laughs> Touch them beautifully. Say, I think, I think, I think you are dozing off. <laughs> and break them up. Amen. Amen. I believe I'm gonna. Bring for the word that will help somebody. Amen. Amen. I want us to open to the book of Deuteronomy 10. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verses 12 through 13. Hey, I was thinking I would see somebody here. There's nobody here. They're out there. Hallelujah. Amen. See, I was telling mommy today when we were coming, see, sometimes you have to do things different. Amen. Amen. Uh, today we came here very early. Mm -hmm. My big pan boys saw us and they were like, hey, <laughs> Bishop, look here. We are. <laughs> Bishop is out early. Yeah, see, you don't give people the chance to read you. Amen. You sometimes have to 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 make things different. So you can you can confuse them. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want us to read the book of Deuteronomy 10 12 through 15. And now Israel will, and now is and now say and now. And now. Israel. Israel. Don't say that again. What does the Lord your God require of you? But reverently to fear the Lord your God. That is to walk in all his ways and to love him. And to serve the Lord your God with all your mind and heart and with all entire being to keep commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command you today for your good. I want us to open to the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, let me get a right verse for you. And we will read that and we will bring forth the word. Deuteronomy 28, 1. Deuteronomy 28, 1. Uh, can we get the King James Version? I want to use that for emphasis. Amen. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt.
shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. Somebody say this day. This day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe to prosecute this reading, I want to let you understand that our first reading was telling about how it is imperative, or how imperative it is for us to what lead our lives in the fear and reverence of God. And then the second verse gives us what it takes that when you become obedient, what will happen to you? Amen. Amen. Time and time again, we lose our taste of what it is to fear God. Listen to me carefully. See, as other, see, as we are not getting any younger. So the coming of the Lord is so closer and nearer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because mind you, as you are growing, knowing, know that the end is coming because the times are catching up. Amen. And I want us to be mindful of the fact that God will not come for a church which is wrinkled or a church with spots. Amen. I believe that as we come daily to receive and to praise and to worship God, we wouldn't lose sight of the fact that God is watching our every move and our every step that we take. Very important. This morning, I want to bring you a word titled, No More Camouflage, No More Skeletons. <laughs> Bishop Penny's his, his titles. Think about it. No more camouflage and no more skeletons. Beloved, if we are not careful, we will have, we will have and also have skeletons in our closet that we think nobody knows of, but God knows about or knows of everything that you do. No more no more skeletons. Tell your neighbor and ask your neighbor, are you for real? Are you for real? Are you for real? Make sure you get an answer. Are you for real? Now, Bible says when the days are getting closer, people will be lovers of themselves. Or you come to church knowing that it is a responsibility and it is part of your makeup to belong, to be inclusive in the things of God. And sometimes we become out of touch with the things of God so much so that it becomes the norm for us. That you come to church and somebody has to warn you before you even lift up your hand. lifted up. Somebody has to have to tell you bow before you even bow. But I believe God is looking for a church whereby you come out of within yourself and do things because God propels you to do it. Amen. I'm looking for a day that we come to church and all of us will bow and kneel before 
see that day. Though the church will be in one accord so that the spirit of God, the power of God will fall upon his church. Tired of church as usual. I'm tired of church that becomes like, like it, is, it is an act. I believe God wants to bring us to a place of abundance in the place of blessing, a place of increase and a place that we will just flourish in the things of God. But it will take that our it will take the attitude of our lifestyle to bring about that change. Amen. I want us to come to church and experience God in an unusual way. Not dance and not shout and not go home broke. You can come to church and go home dry because you didn't receive anything from God. Because you came to be a spectator and not. Jesus. I believe you have to be part of anything that goes on in the house of God. Beloved, listen, if you want to belong, belong. Yes. 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 Bible says, if you have to be hot, be hot. Yes. If you have to be cold, be cold. Because when you are in between, we don't know who you are. Yes. You are a Christian, but you're doing things that worldly people do. And you think it's okay. You become comfortable in your skin that you can do anything come to the house of God and feel comfortable like nothing has ever happened you smoke all the smoke you can smoke drink all the drink you can drink do everything that you you know is not of God but you do it anyhow because think you're not accountable to anybody skeletons in the closet. You come every Sunday, make up good, hack up good, hairline good, but you are, uh, we don't know who you are. A camouflage among the people of God. Hallelujah. Say the time has come to be real. Say the time has come. To be, to be real in the things of God. The of God. But let us see if we want to experience God and see His hand and see His blessings, then our lifestyle has to change. Hallelujah. I said, if we have to experience God and see His handiwork, the things that He did in terms of old, sometimes we don't even see these days because we are far away from God. We are far away from God. Amen. But I believe the time has come for, for the children of God to stand. Bible says stand. And to stand and make sure that they take what belongs to them. Today I'm vexed to pray that any kind of things in our lives any camouflage in our lives May Jehovah, we're going to speak to that skeleton. We're going to speak to that dry bones to receive life in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Things have to change. Things have to change. Things have to change. Our lives have to change. Our marriage have to change. Our business have to change. Our church have to change. The God we serve. Amen. I am very tired of us begging every day for things. Bible says, whatever your feet will drag upon you, possess. What happened? Jesus mighty name. What happened, children of God, that we cannot see the hand of God because we live our lives? Anyhow. 
and a half. So Lord have mercy. Bless, bless. Bless. I believe the church will rise again. I believe the church will come. For the people of God, yes. I believe. Yes. Because I've seen what God is able to do. I was talking to mommy, and I was telling mommy, see, mommy, when you when you check our life, it's, it's, it's nothing but a dependence of God. Total. Amen. Everything that we do, when we because he knows that we have no other God but him. You have to come to a place for God to know that you have no other one but him alone. There is no other God beside you. What is it? It's your love, this. We worship you. Titi Yami, Yabasumo, Titi Yami, Yabasumo, Sadia Jawetia, Opia Rabimo, Titi Yami, Yabasumo, Oh, there's no other God. Oh, 
Jesus. I surround my home with the blood of Jesus. I cut down every strong man. I destroy everything that the enemy has put in place. And the head in my life, may you be cut out. May you be break down. May you be bent down. May you be destroyed. I take charge over my environment. I'm an environment. Listen to me. The power within me is greater than the power in the world. So I command you that my environment, you shall favor me in Jesus' mighty name. I talk to my situation. Every situation in my life does seem like it's not going nowhere. I command you in the name of Jesus that you shall rise. That you shall become what I say you become. Because power lies in my tongue. And as a funeral, it shall be my person. Somebody shall hear. Yeah. But I'm tired of just yeah. sitting down. My yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Not knowing what to do. My God. That's when confusion yeah. enters your heart. Mm -hmm. And you tell yourself, man, I'm not going to church today. Mm -hmm. Man, we have enough church. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm 14 years I've had church all those years. I think today I can skip church. Mm -hmm. But beloved, you don't know that the day that you skip church yes. will be the day that your station. God. Don't skip church. Don't, don't skip the, the assembling of the no, brethren. Do not. Because these times are serious times. Because yes. when you're home by yourself, you see, the, the enemy will, 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 will always come to a, a, a man that is ideal. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I believe when we are together in the spirit, when we are together in body, something shall be said, something will be said that will work, that will change you up, that will bring you to a place of believing again. Because sometimes your belief system will come down. But I dare you, I dare you to know that as you continue coming to the house of God, as your feet become short in the house of God, as your step become closer in the house of God, anything that you face in life, you can battle it because many are we than them that is in the world. Hallelujah. Bible says one will chase a thousand, but two will chase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things have to change. Tell somebody things have to change. Well, hold your hands and things have to change. Hold your hands and agree that things have to change. Say, I don't like what I'm doing right now, but things have to change. I want to see God. Say, things have to change. I want to experience God. Say, things have to change. Change is coming. It's coming closer than you even believe it. I said it's closer than you even believe it. You know why? Because prayer changes things. I said prayer changes things. If you don't know, let me tell you that I am a testament of prayer. That as you seek God and ask God, and I, yeah, 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 He will do what that you ask Him to do. If only it is in the will of God, you shall receive. Change is coming. I can feel change coming. Uh, mommy, I can smell change coming. Oh, I, I see change written all over your head. I see change written all over your forehead. I see change written all over your heart. I see change covering you. Uh, I see change. Uh, I see you changing. Uh, and bigger, I see you changing. Uh, and stutter, I see you changing. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, the change is coming. You will not be like this forever. I said, change is coming. You will not continue to be like this. I said, change is coming. For I know that we know that our redeemer living shall change. Change. Change is here. 
next year. Amen. Amen. Listen. Jesus. Change can come, Audrey, but you have to go get change. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> As a change, we'll be close to you, but you have to reach out. Yeah. Mommy, when the woman that had an issue of blood, when he saw Jesus, change was there. But he said, I was just, just, for, just to look at him. I was trapped. And that, the hem of his garment. That's when change comes. As the change is here, but as you reach out, and take your change. Take your change. Take your change. Take your change. As the change is here, whether you like it or not, Oh, change, change, change is coming, and change is in the heart of God. When you like, we shall see change. In Jesus' name, we shall see change. In our, in our, in our, in our, in our service, we'll see change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Minister, get ready. But in your ministration, you will see change. As you stand to sing, think what's that happening? See change. Chosen Channel